Assalamu alaikum and hello everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. So it's about that time of year. Ramadan is almost upon us inshallah. So it's time for my Ramadan food prep for 2024. It's going to be a little bit of a different Ramadan this year. What with everything that's going on in Gaza and the ongoing war on the Palestinians and in this house it's going to be a subdued Ramadan but inshallah we'll do what we have to do and in this video I make a couple of snacks like I usually do just my usuals nothing really exciting or special I thought I'd keep it simple and stick to what I know and we love our homemade samosas during Ramadan so I made sure to make a batch of those so as Ramadan is the month of giving, it's really important that we give to those that are less fortunate than us. And at this moment in time, the people in Gaza are really suffering and struggling. They're starving, they're cold. So I'm going to put a link to somewhere that you can donate, inshallah, for things to go to people directly in Gaza. There's a page that I follow on Twitter It's called Care for Gaza. And um, yeah, I'm always really cautious because when people are collecting money, you're not sure if it's actually getting into Gaza because of the blockade and the people stopping the aid from getting in or food from getting in, which is just pure evil, but let's not go there. So you're always worried that is your money actually going to the people who need it? So this page that I follow, I think they're actually in Gaza and they provide meals or like any little thing that they can provide, maybe jackets, but I'll put a link to the Twitter page and I think they've got a PayPal that you can donate to. Anyway, let's get to the video. So yes, I was in the middle of making my batch of samosas. So I was making the filling for the samosas, just the same as I usually do. Boiled my potatoes. My lamb means I did, yes, indeed. Ramadan, Hada Shahrul Gufran, Yogfir them be Rahman, Zidni mean an Iman, Ya Rahman, I know I'll see you, I know I'll clean you, Shahri Ramadan. I added some frozen mixed veg into the mince once it had browned and just allow the frozen mixed veg to not be frozen anymore. And then I added in some onions and just cook the onions until they're nice and soft. So what are you guys preparing for Ramadan? Are you batch making any little snacks, any meals? Are you making anything interesting or fun? Do let us know. Yeah, and then I just added in some garlic and ginger paste, a couple of spices, salt. You know the drill by now. It's an annual thing on this channel.
يا لطيف يسر لي حفظ القرآن واحفظني من زلة لساني and there's the samosa mixture of filling all ready so next I made the dough for the samosas as you'll know I like to make the samosa dough from scratch as it's a special thing for Ramadan that we do it's a lot of hassle uh, but it's worth it inshallah so I added quite a bit of flour a lot of sunflower oil and a few extra bits i put about a litre of water in i can't remember exactly how much but as you're mixing the dough just um yeah just check how loose or thick the dough is and if it's too sticky add a bit more flour if it's not sticky enough add a bit more water Allow the door to rest for at least 30 minutes. I think I left it for a little bit longer than that because uh, I was waiting for the kids to go to sleep and I thought I'd come down and um, do this nice and quietly when they're all sleeping and not wanting to get involved. So I'm just making the cases for the samosas like I would make chapatis. I actually should have made um, them a little bit smaller and thinner because in total I think I made about 60 something samosas but they were really big. Um, I think I could have made smaller ones and basically made more. But there you go, alhamdulillah. <laughs> So I'm just shaking off the extra flour and then popping it onto the pan or the tava is what it's called in case you're not familiar with it. And then you just lightly cook each side very lightly. The reason I do this in case this is the first Ramadan meal prep video you're watching of mine is because it makes it easier to make the samosas, like shape them and make sure you do it while the um, chapati things are warm because otherwise it's hard to make the samosa cases because it's all stiff and you don't want that. So there I go just making all of the, the cases and making sure I cover them so that they stay nice and warm. أنت الحبيب خير الأنام أنت نور وسلام علمتنا صبرا جميل أنت صادق أمين أخلاقه نبع الهدى وصفاته قدوى لنا أنت الحبيب خير الأنام أنت يا محمد تسقينا من يديك عند حوض الكوثر لِلْأُمَّاتِ خَلَّيْتْ سُنَّتَكَ الْجَوْهَرْ صَلَّى عَلَيْكَ
Once I've made all of the chapati things, I made the glue for the samosa. So it's just some plain flour and some water. And um, I don't know how much I added exactly, probably about a cup for the plain flour and then about three quarters of a cup of the water, but just a glue consistency. And then I was ready and raring to go to make me actual samosa. So just cutting them in half. The samosa feeling had cooled down by now. So this is how I always make them and I do them in batches of 10. So I won't even describe what I'm doing but you can see. So when you're filling your samosas, leave a little gap just to make sure you can close them and then I use a fork to press the edge down. And then just repeat this process over and over again. Oh, 
And there we go, all of the samosas are nice and ready. I put them into a couple of freezer bags and chucked them in the freezer. I said, off you go samosas, get in there. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, inshallah. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I did think it. <laughs> Another snack I made were some spring rolls. I do tend to make a lot of spring rolls every Ramadan. I thought I'd make the filling a little bit different this time. So it's a barbecue chicken filling. I added some sweet corn as well. But I've got some uh, chicken breasts there, like four large chicken breasts. And um, I'm just cutting them into small pieces. <laughs> And then I'm making the marinade for the chicken, so whatever's on screen. I had some barbecue sauce, I had this one, use whichever you fancy. And then just mix all the ingredients together and then add in the chicken breast pieces. Mix it with a spoon if you like, but I guess I just want it to go all in. <laughs> And then I allowed that to marinate for about 30 minutes while I sorted out the rest of the ingredients. So I've got some onions that I'm slicing. Red onions to be exact. And then I've got a large pan adding in some sunflower oil and then I cook the onions until they were soft and a little bit brown. And then I added in the marinated chicken pieces and gave that a good mix and um, basically cook it on like a medium to high flame until the chicken looks cooked really <laughs> really good measurement there just just when it looks cooked now the pieces will be kind of white they'll release some water and um, yeah they lose that pinkiness and they look like that really and then uh, i turned the heat off at this point and added in these ingredients so some more barbecue sauce some mayo I added the mayo because I thought I want it a bit more saucy, you know, and some sweet corn. I was going to add some potatoes, but I thought, you know, I've put potatoes in the samosas. Let's leave the potatoes out of this one. That was my thinking anyway. So I've got these spring roll sheets and I'm just making the spring roll. So I think I made two packs. There's like 30 in a pack. And um, yeah, I finished all of the chicken mixture and then I had some samosa mixture left, uh, like a small tub of it. So I made like, I think 10, maybe 10, 15 spring rolls from that mixture. So yeah, about 60 spring rolls in total though. <laughs> And there's the lovely batch of spring rolls ready and raring to go for Ramadan as well, inshallah. Um, the only other thing I made was something I make every Ramadan as well, kebabs. So, chapli kebabs, round kebabs. And it's just the same as I normally make them. I've got an onion and a tomato. Process that in this little chopper thing. Mm. 
and then you just mix everything in a large mixing bowl and then I've got some uh, grease proof paper is it baking paper I'm not sure yeah so I've got a sheet of that and then I'm uh, putting a layer of mince on top of the sheet of paper spreading that into a thin enough layer and then to make it even I put another sheet on top and use the rolling pin so that the kebabs are about the same thickness and then I use this cookie cutter to make the kebab shapes get rid of any excess meat from around the shapes neaten the edges or around the kebabs and then cut around them and stack them on top of each other and that's how I've been doing it for a little while and then I just repeated that process with the help of Naseba who was having lots of fun doing that I just repeated that process until all the kebab meat was used up and there you go there's all of my ramadan food prep i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i do hope you found it useful and inshallah i pray you have a wonderful ramadan and inshallah i'll see you guys really soon in my next video thank you so much for watching take care salam bye